move on in a very freewheeling and candid chat with Varinder Bansal, Kishore Bayani of uh, the Future Group opens up about the future of the group. He lays out his growth plans for the businesses. Here's an excerpt. I think whenever we look at all our three businesses, which is a lifestyle, which is retail and which is consumer, I think all the three businesses excite me because they're in various stages. Consumer business is exciting because we're launching a lot of new products and new launches, advertising, and promotions and launches. I think that is exciting from that perspective. Of 80% Future lifestyle fashion, we are excited that uh, there is a chance we are virtually wanting, we are leading the fashion space and we want to become the number one fashion company of this country. And we, I think we are already there uh, or we'll be there this year. And future retail is getting exciting because of the way the markets are now changing. And we are getting that recognition of all the hard work which you have done in the last m multiple years. You know, I can't skip this question about, because you talked about future retail, uh, how do you feel about DMART coming in, in the market and uh, does it changes the entire dynamics of the market? I think DMART is a very, very interesting business model which has been created, a discount model which works on very high velocity and very, very low cost. So this is the model on which we are learning how to operate a business at 8% of cost, which is a very, very good model. And I believe we need many, many companies which can create their own models and create their own space in the market. So demand is something where any retailer can learn from. You know, a lot of comparisons have been made, sir. You know, uh, future retail does 18,000 crore of sales. Demand is 8,000 crores. Your gross margins are higher than uh, demand, but the thing comes in the beta margin, the pat margin. Uh, well, if we don't, if we don't even discuss demand, but people want to know how will the margins for future retail move ahead. You know. I know it's a different model altogether in terms of cost control for DMART, but do you anticipate that the EBITDA margins and PAT margins for future retail will improve going ahead from here? I think we have a very interesting model of business, wherein uh, our non-food component is more than 65 to 70% of business. And sometimes our gross margins are higher than the margins, uh, our EBITDA margins of stores are higher than the total gross margins of other retailers. So in a sense, uh, it's a great model. We believe it's probably one of the better models in the world, in a sense. And uh, But we have a balance sheet uh, which is not as strong as what uh, other retailers have. And I think our journey of making our balance sheet stronger has begun. And uh, I think return on capital employed, probably we have to come to that level. And that's where we think we'll get that respect which other retailers would command. Slip into a 